YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Welcome to the no, person. Oh, hey guys. Um. Okay, that's all. Okay, that's all. Um, what's up, Striker Cat, as usual? Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, this video is about disasters bringing family together. I forgot to open my shade. I'm gonna do that real quick. Bring some life into here. I'm back. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know if this is, I mean, I'm not going for reality here. I don't know if disasters is actually bring together family. This is more, mainly, like, TV shows that I watch and, like, movies I've seen that, like, a problem goes on, like, a lot of bad things go on, and then in the end, you're a family! Woohoo! My tongue is low. I had a cupcake for breakfast. I don't know if that's the best thing. That's what I was gonna do! I was gonna brush my teeth, but I forgot to do that. <sighs> it's because I was talking to my mom, and then I got distracted, and I forgot about it. I'm like, wait, I need to make a YouTube video. So that's what I'm doing. Got my hair, because I already bothered me. Okay, um, anyways. I chose this song, because it's like, welcome to the family. It's been so unfold. It's great. Okay, anyways. I just had that. R.L. Stein, The Haunting Hour. There you go. That's the show. Okay, that's a good show. It mainly comes around Halloween, which stinks, because it doesn't like that show, because it's scary, one and two. Well, it's not all that scary. I mean... Some episodes are really scary, other episodes aren't that scary, it's just like, it's funny. But I really like watching that show. One of the episodes that I watched was this family, it was Christmas time. The youngest kid was like, dear Santa, can you please bring your family together or something like that. It was, watch that episode. I forgot what the episode was called. Wow, okay, wow. I haven't seen this since for a while. Anyways, um, it was Christmas morning. Everyone was opening their presents. There's like a son and then a daughter, I think. And they're like the oldest kids. And they got stuff that they've gotten. And no one's happy or smiling. And the little kid's like... What's happening? You know? It's sad. Because he's like so small and adorable. And don't hurt a little kid's feelings. <laughs> Anyways. They see this huge box and they're like, what is it? So they open it and for and it was like all dark and the next thing you know, this bat demon thing flies out. And um it was it was weird. Anyways, next thing you know, the house is on fire. They're all trying to like, you know, get out of there and then fire trucks come and then that have to like take out the fire, but in the end, they're all hugging each other and crying and saying, I love you and I'm glad that you're not hurt and whatever. And Santa Claus is all, you know, up there and he smiles and flies away. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> but <laughs> that was the show. And that was interesting, you know. And then another show that I watch, it's called The Fosters. I'm on season one still. It's a good show, though. I'm gonna, like, restart this song. Restart. Okay. Anyways. Um. Jude and Callie are about ready to get adopted, and their dad signed the rights so they could get adopted. And basically, Jude wanted to see his dad one more time, and Callie wasn't sure about that, but then in the end... They, the kids cried and Jude actually got to hug his dad and his dad said that he loves them and that 
will always be their dad no matter what. And he wants to get them back, but he's trying to get his feet on, like, a lot of things happened. Um, he was put into prison. If you want to watch the show, you can. I'm not, I'm not going to say why. Sorry, I want to give it away, you know. And he got out a year before Callie called because she ran away from home. And that you can also watch the show for. And in the end, I mean, they said that they love each other. And I thought that was pretty cool. But a lot of things happened. And in, in the end, they're good, you know. And then third time of charm, so I'm only saying three. If there's more examples for this, I mean, hey, share it. Write it down in the comments below. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I watched the movie a movie last night with my mom and dad. It's called The Judge. It's a really good movie. It's sad, but it's good. And there's some funny parts in it, too, so. <clears throat> Not sad to, to where you cry, but, I mean, some people might cry. I didn't cry. It was sad, though. Anyways, um, apparently, I mean, this one kid, he ran away after high school and went to college, went to law school, whatever, and didn't call or let the family know. And the next thing you know, he had to come back home because his mom passed away. And then something happened to his dad, <clears throat> which you can watch the movie if you want to find out. And, you know, a lot of things happened to where not a lot of, I mean, he left on, on a bad note. Like, nobody, nobody, like, was real excited to see him or whatever. And it started out like that, but in the end, it showed to where he was fishing with his dad and actually hugged his brothers and... It was good. It ended, it was, it ended good. It was a sad movie, but it ended good. And then, craps. I didn't think about the R of the day. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I got my sketchbook around here somewhere. I gotta show you this art piece. That I did. It doesn't exactly go with the video, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm practicing on how to draw guys. Yeah. Look at their faces. It's different faces. But you know, like no matter what they are and what they like, they're all friends. As you can tell, they're all different. I mean, this guy's an emo, this guy's like a jog, and then this guy's like chill and like whatever. But yeah, art of the day. I hope you like it. Um, to see more art. Follow me on Instagram and Vine because I take Vines of some of my art. Not all of it, just some of it. And um, I think that's about it. This is a really long video. I didn't want it to be that long. But that's okay. Bye!